Thank you, Nathan. Now to the COVID-19 vaccination effort. Johnson & Johnson reportedly wants to ask for a green light on a booster shot this week. According to the New York Times, the drug maker is planning to ask federal regulators to authorize a booster shot of its single dose vaccine. The FDA already has a meeting scheduled for next week to discuss boosters for Moderna as well. Meanwhile, the pressure is on for airlines as the Biden administration has given federal contractors until December 8th to mandate COVID-19 vaccinations for employees. That includes airlines that provide services for the government. With the deadline looming, American, Alaska Air and JetBlue are following in the footsteps of United Airlines in requiring employee vaccines. Now, COVID-19 shots, flu shots, childhood vaccines, even if we know we need them, getting protected can be a pain, literally. But listen to this. Researchers at UNC are developing a new technology that could make getting those vaccinations pain free and without needles. Maggie Newland takes a closer look at this for us this evening. For James Todd, vaccines come with anxiety. I'm not too fond of them. I actually have needle phobia. He's not alone. According to the CDC, as many as 25% of adults and many children have a fear of needles. Some so severe it prevents them from getting vaccinated. But one day, needles, at least the ones we're used to, may not be necessary. It's pain-free and anxiety-free. Dr. Joseph D. Simone at Stanford University is working with researchers at the University of North Carolina, Chapel Hill, on a tiny patch that can deliver vaccines when applied to the skin. And so our approach was to directly 3D print the microneedles and use a breakthrough in 3D printing that we pioneered. The microneedles on the patch are so small they can hardly be felt. Dr. DeSimone says not only is the patch painless, it's also more effective than traditional shots. We have 100 to 1,000 times more of the targeted immune cells in the dermis of our skin than we do in our muscle. That means each person would require a smaller amount of vaccine. It also wouldn't need to be kept as cold as vaccines that are used in liquid form. When you think about global access, you're going to need things like that. Right now, the patch is being tested on animals. Dr. DeSimone says the results are promising, and within five years, he says this could be how you get your shots, or more specifically, how you could give yourself your shots. Maggie Newland, CBS News, Raleigh, North Carolina. In addition to testing them on animals, researchers are testing the technology on the COVID vaccine, but they say it could be used for many types of vaccines against infectious diseases.